On the night that I left my home after going public about being swatted on August 5th, the hotel I was staying at got doxxed. I decided to tell my supporters that I was safe by posting a photo of my fiancé's cat on our hotel bed in my Discord server. The people who have been harassing me spent hours cross-referencing the bed sheets with other local hotels until they found a match. In the morning afterwards, five different pizza companies sent pizzas to my hotel room under my dead name. Obviously, it isn't the pizzas that are the problem, but it's the threat that they make. Recently, Keffels, the Twitch streamer, has been on a movement to cancel Kiwi Farms. They've been tweeting about them nonstop, trying to get Cloudflare to drop them effectively, and making Kiwi Farms actually trend for a couple days, a few days here and there. It looks like they're not going to stop, and Keffels has apparently received uh, overwhelming support for this. The response to what happened to me has been overwhelming. There's been a tremendous outpouring of support, and news of what happened to me went international. Despite how much I've gone through, seeing all of that support made me feel significantly less alone during one of the most stressful periods in my entire life. In fact, so much support that even gutter trash like Ethan Ralph is trying to get into contact with them. That's why I need every single person who has watched this video to share the video and to spread the word. We can only fight back if we make this both a national and an international discussion. This is the only way that you can help me, as well as honor people like Julie Terry Berry, Chloe Segel, and David Kirk Ginder. I find this kind of rich coming from them considering they had no problem saying things like this in the past. Obviously not caring for the well-being of others, at least not somebody that they dislike. Now they're taking on this, this weird martyr route where they think they're Mother Teresa and they're going to save the world from big bad Kiwi farms. They go on to name three individuals that are no longer with us and they essentially pin it all on Kiwi farms. Because I know the owner of Kiwi farms is going to watch this video, I have a couple of words for Joshua Moon. Joshua, you are complicit in making multiple people commit. You have made enemies everywhere. The legacy you are going to leave behind in this world is one of creating and operating a platform that for nearly a decade has tormented countless people. One day, you are going to get sloppy, and your entire life is going to collapse like a house of cards. And when that day comes, no one will be there to help you. Don't support Keffels, don't buy their fake sob story, don't let her, them brainwash you into thinking that you know, they're doing this for a righteous cause and that it's because they care about you. It's that that's not the case. For a more in-depth analysis of basically debunking their bullshit, I've gone over certain things regarding them in some uh, live streams I've done. So I will put those up on cards for you guys to check out. I'll, hell, I might even make a playlist and uh, go check that out. I feel like this is going to be something we're going to be covering a lot more in the future as well. Just because Keffel seems like a very unsavory, um, hmm, just a very unsavory person. Let's leave it at that for today's video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Once again, do not support Keffel. Josh Moon supremacy, my guys. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you on the next video. See ya.